there's not much left to comb up there. It's all going here. But unfortunately, we've reached the time of the year where it's about time that I get rid of it. It's been getting long and laggy. It's getting itchy. You know, even though we're even having a snowstorm tonight, it's March, what, 12, 13, something like that. It's time to get rid of it. It's close enough. I've actually been growing this since, I think, August. So it's certainly high time. Alrighty, well, first plan of attack is scissors. Before we do that, of course, I'm wearing my Beardly shirt from Lexmark's 567. And, you know, depending, because the shirt I showed this last year can go down to here, or it can come up to here, and, you know, all kinds of great stuff like that. The beard is falling out also, you know how it goes. So if I kind of, you know, fudge the scale a bit and stretch it all out, you know, we're getting down to... Um, almost Bigfootly, certainly hillbilly, but we're almost getting down to Bigfootly. Otherwise, I mean, I saw a guy who clearly, you know, could have tipped the scales. But, you know, again, if you look up, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't measure exactly right. Okay, plug the sink, and we'll start snipping away. This might be the longest it's ever been. I don't know. It's really... More fur. Does anybody want fur? Lots of fur. People ask me, why do you grow that beard, Jay? And I know a lot of you like it. And I, I like it too for, you know, it gets to a point eventually where that's enough. But it uh, keeps you warm in the winter, right? So anyway, we'll carry on.
So that's so far just with scissors. Next is the trimmer on my Philips Norelco AC power only shaver. I've had this for, oh boy, 10, no, not quite 10 years. Eight or nine years probably. Still works just fine. Of course, I don't use it half of the year. <laughs> and we'll start trimming.
and after that, that's about what we get. You know, stubble type stuff. So, now we're going to go ahead and do the actual shaving part. Hooray. All right, we're going to take a little break. <clears throat> it's getting hot in here. The biggest problem is there are 300 watts of light baking me as I do this, so I'm starting to sweat. So I'm going to actually open up the uh, winder and uh, towel off a bit and carry on. As usual, there's a plane going by outside, but uh, ready for the next round.
<laughs> wow, it's still hot in here. But there you go. There's the new J. Uh, this is going to be um, you know, no, nothing's perfect yet. I, I still have, I can feel some hairs and stuff still. It's uh, again because of how hot it is baking under these lights that I start to sweat and then it doesn't shave as well. So it usually takes like another shave or two to get everything nice and clean and perfect. Uh, I have more trimming to do, you know, like this, this has got to go. This is like, to you know, it's like part of the sideburns kind of thing. It's got to, you know, I got some extra trimming and stuff to do. Let me go and do that and I'll show you the finished product. I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> Anyway, this year I think we'll finish it off with something also. A lot of you say, oh, no, electric? Oh, no, you know. Use a Burma Shave. Use this one. Use a Remington. Use this. I use Schick. I use Belvedere. I use whatever the fuck it is. This is what I got. That's what I use. So why not finish it off with some good old-fashioned Aqua Velva. Oh, it's going to suck. Not taking it out of the bottle. Instead, remember the atomizer? Here it is. It's blue. The lighting is not conducive to showing it, but it's blue to match the blue of the aqua blue velva. And um, this is, uh, this blows air through here and sucks up through the tube. So it's not like a perfume spray bottle, you know, something like one of these jobbers where you... This gives you a nice spray. This does not. This gives you a very aerated spray at best, is what it does. So let's go ahead and apply. That's why I have to squeeze it four million times because it's very aerated. And then, of course, you can do the uh, the old Home Alone thing, you know. <laughs> Fuck you, Macaulay Culkin. Other than that, I'm in good shape. <laughs> Bullshit. Back from the 90s. Okay, the movie was good for once. Then you saw it every fucking Christmas for the next 16 years. Give it up, folks. Anyway, this is now the new J. You will be seeing the new J periodically. Not all the time. It depends because I have a lot of videos saved up. Probably a month, maybe even two. And you will see the bearded J interspersed with the new J, depending on if I release newer material sooner than later. But this is pretty much how it's going to stay until mm, probably about August, September, somewhere in there. I'll let it grow for a couple of weeks and shave it off again and do all kinds of stuff and things like that. But that's pretty much the deal. Thank you for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll shave you later. Bye-bye.